Thank you for gathering us unto yourself because you have something for us. Dear Holy Spirit, I pray you speak forth your word of life and let every soul be blessed this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody shout a bigger amen. amen. Once again, I want to say Happy New Year to those of us that are going to be seeing it for the first time. Like I said, Happy New Year continues. Amen. Maybe until after January with my stops, Happy New Year because the, night, the month is already one, the year is already one month old. Glory be to God. I'm so excited. Like I said this, I'm so excited. I don't know. It appears just like I see if I have billions of dollars gift. Amen. Um, but do you know the gift of God cannot be quantified, cannot be, cannot be placed, cannot place. It can't place any price tag on that gift of Jesus. Something more than gold. Something more than gold. The Spirit of God in the life of man is something more than good. More than gold. Something more than good. More than gold. He the spirit of God in the life of man is something more than more than gold. Yeah, something more than gold. He the spirit of God in the life of man is something more more than gold. Something more than gold. Of my one more time, one more time. More than gold, yeah, something more than gold. The spirit of the life of man is something more than gold. Amen. 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 Oh my, we are welcome in Jesus' name. I can't stop welcoming you. Amen. I'm going to welcome you. Amen. Okay, let us turn our Bibles to our early team text. Let's start from there. Our early team text. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5, and chapter 9, verse 8. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves. To think of anything as being from ourselves. But our sufficiency is from God. Amen. Amen. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you. That you always having sufficient, all sufficiency in all things. May have an abundance for every good work. Praise the Lord. That's our team. That's our team's test for the the team for the year. AD twenty twenty. Our year of divine all round sufficiency. Can we say it together? AD twenty twenty. Our year of divine all round. One more time. Amen. Amen. The Lord are going to be our sufficiency in all areas. In the name of Jesus. Now, let's turn to Daniel chapter 1. Daniel chapter 1 verse 8. That is the theme test for the month. Daniel chapter 1 verse 8. But Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the chief of the eunuch that he might not, he might not defile himself. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word richly into our lives in Jesus' name. A better amen. amen. Now, I, I'm going to just dwell on these two themes this morning. And uh, uh, the Spirit of God help us, we will go. Glory be to God. The topic is simply titled, the topic of this means simply titled, A Purposeful Mindset for Divine All-Round Sufficiency. 
a purposeful mindset for divine all-round sufficiency. Can we see it together? One more time. Amen. So that is the topic for this message. And it's my prayer that the Almighty God will bless all of us together in Jesus' name. I want to sincerely thank God Almighty for who he is. Thank God God is not a man. He is God. And that song, uh, look at you to see, like that song. Uh, if I have 10,000 10, tongues, eh, it will not be what? Enough. If I, well, you know that song. Let's sing it two times. What is that? Back up. Have a seat. God bless you. Thank you, Choristers. Amen. Amen. So I want to sincerely thank God for 2020. That's that what 2020 is so sweet to me. So so nice. So smooth in the lips. 2020. Amen. And it looks so peaceful. Amen. It sounds so peaceful. 2020. It's all two zero two zero. Eh? 2020. It's going to be good for you in the name of Jesus. Like I told us during the vision, cross over night. We are the one crossing over to 2020. God has been there. Amen. Amen. And he said, He carried us on the eagle's wing unto Himself. You are brought into 2020 for God. Tell our neighbor, say, neighbor. You are brought into 2020 for God. Amen. So I'm so excited because something keeps telling me that the Lord is going to do wonders in this church, in our lives. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. He's going to prove himself as the all-sufficient God in our lives. And I see people changing levels. Somebody's level is changing. Somebody's status is changing. Somebody's name is changing. In the name of Jesus. When I got this team a purposeful mindset last year, and I was battling within my heart, had that to zero down to the yearly team, but I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I don't know how to go about it. Amen. And do you know, since I conceived this team, it has been ministering to me. And I know it will minister to you. Amen. Amen. A purposeful mindset. 
And I just put something and say, what is a purposeful mindset? I tried to look at the dictionary to look at purposeful. You know, mindset and not dressed. But I have my own meaning. The way it ministers to my spirit. Oh, my, my. Somebody in the house. Somebody in the house? During the vision, General Basia made a statement. He said, he said, the greater asset of a man of God is the ability to hear from God. Oh, my Shambhayadara. It meant, and it means the fact that just like a pilot flying an airplane and he lost control with the control tower. You are not ready for the control tower. Are you going to fly that plane? You crash land. So the greater asset is the ability to hear from God. And I prayed from this morning. The Lord will give me the ability to hear from him. The Lord will give you the ability to hear from him. I said God will give you the ability to hear from him. In the mighty name of Jesus. So when I, when I, when I received this, I couldn't just change it. Because this thing is not just from my own thinking. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. So what is a purposeful what a purposeful mind, what is it? A purposeful mindset. And don't forget the scripture. Daniel chapter 1, verse 8. Can we read that place again? Let Daniel chapter 1, verse 8. Daniel 1, 8. Daniel 1, 8. This is King James. Okay, let's go. But Daniel proposed in his heart, my God, that he will not define himself with the person of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested, oh my God, a purposeful mindset to make it, wait, wait, cause to make requests. Oh my God. Are you here? Yes, sir. He requested of the prince of the eunuch that he would not, he might not what? Defile himself. From that background, I want to define what is a purposeful mindset is. Number one, a purposeful mindset is a mind that is set on a purpose. Oh, my kappa, you Why did I say? A purposeful mindset is a mind that is what? Is set on a purpose. Yesterday, I was listening to a radio program. Uh, radio program. Somebody said, Oh, that's uh, so, in the program. They said, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. We have entered Happy New Year. We have happy, uh, entered the New Year. But the question is, do you have goals you want to achieve in 2020? New Year resolution every now and then. Do you really have that mindset to get those solutions carried out? So number one, a purposeful mindset is a mind that is set on a purpose. It's set on a goal, on a target. On something definite. My God. God will give us that mindset. I said, God will give us that mindset. And when I was mentioning all this, you know what came to my mind? The, the Lord just lost my mind back to some years now, about three, four years now. I'm 65 years old by God now. But I'm thinking that, that just three, four, five, three years or three years or three years ago. Because there was no purposeful mindset about that issue. It was just eluding me. Procrastination. Because that's, the mind has not been purposely made up. A purposeful mindset is a mind that is set on a purpose. And what am I saying about? And that talk, I was talking about the issue of savings. Are we in the house? My mind. Are we in the house? When I look at the salary, I look at the responsibility that 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 our cash last salary is not even enough. For 60 years plus, I was not saving anything. As it comes, it goes. That's a terrible lifestyle. But a day came, I see God just opened my heart from the hearing, from cancer. I said, eh? And my eye opened. I said, in the middle of my mind, that come recommission, as I'm paying my tithe, I will pay myself. Somebody heard me. Without a 
powerful mindset, beloved, you will never, never amount to anything in life. Take it or leave it. What did I say? What, 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 did, I say? what did I say? So then and then I made up my mind that before I say a buy, buy anything at all, the saving must go first, off my hand completely. And that the grace of God is just like, it's just like, it has become part of me. It profits myself. It has become part of me. I will never sleep, say, I, I take salary and I just ate everything. I'm telling you, I, that, that more I won't be to sleep. But you cannot even have by God's grace. That will not, not allow that to happen in the name of Jesus. A purpose of mindset. And this morning I was saying something. Those of who came late, I will still say it again. This year, with this team, God will give you the grace to be able to say no. Are you here? What did I see? And I make, I, I make reference to Matthew chapter 25. Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 to 10, 14, 13, there are about, about the 10 versions. Five foolish, five wise. The foolish one they didn't carry extra oil. And along the line, their oil got finished. And they went to the wise one who had extra. Say, my sister, please give me out of your oil. And the wise one said, no. Can someone say no? So that we don't build, we talk, don't have 10 foolish people go to the market and go buy. I'm not giving you no. May God give you the grace to say no. Amen. That day welcome, sir. Listen. Amen. So a purposeful mindset is a mind that is what is set what? On a purpose. Number two, quickly. Number two. A powerful mindset is a mind that is set on doing something differently. Differently from the usual. A powerful mindset is a mind that is set on doing something differently from the usual, from the norms, from the normal. I was just said it again during the vision. He said, if you are doing the same thing, you are doing the same thing, I expect a different result. But I, I didn't hear it. Amen. So you cannot be seen doing the same thing. The same thing here, here, and expect a different result. So a purpose mindset is a mind I set on doing something differently, uniquely, in a different manner, different from the normal, different from the usual. This year, may God give you the mindset to do something in an unusual manner in the name of Jesus. Number three. A purpose mindset. It's a mind that is regimented. A purpose of mindset is a mind that is what is regimented, that, that strictly controlled, subject to rigid discipline. Discipline mindset. Strictly under control. Amen. Amen. Number four. A purpose of mindset is a mind that is convinced, is convinced about what he associates to do. A purpose of mindset is a mind that is convinced beyond every doubt about what is planned or supposed to do. It's convinced about what he's supposed to do. It's convinced. Is persuaded. Like Paul said, I am persuaded that neither death nor whatever can change my mind. That is convinced about what he chooses to do. That is persuaded. That is convinced that what I'm doing is the correct thing. It's the will of God. It will take me somewhere. It's persuaded. It's convinced about what is supposed to do. What am I that? That number four. Number five. 
A purposeful mindset is a mind that is not afraid of any contradiction. A purposeful mindset is a mind that is not afraid of any contradiction. Because he that is connected to God, he that is being led by the Spirit can never make a mistake. If the Spirit of God is one in control, you can never make a mistake. So, a purpose mindset is a mind that is convinced that no, it's not afraid of any contradiction. Amen. Number six. A purposeful mindset is a mind that is focused on success and nothing less. <laughs> a purposeful mindset is a mind as a what? Is focused on what? Success and nothing less. That's sometimes when may God help us. That's do you know when some, when when I'm traveling when I'm traveling, I don't think about death. I don't think about accident. I hear him. I don't think about it. <laughs> think about it. A purpose mind is a mind that is set on success and nothing less. Anything less than success is not for me. Student, are you hearing? That kind of mindset you have. Success. I'm going to succeed. I'm going to finish well. I will not be rusticated. I will not be sent back. I will not be sent home. It's set on success. I'm going to pray for all of you students before the service is over. Begin to have that mindset. Nothing will stop my education. Nothing will happen to my parents. <laughs> a mindset that is settled is set on success and nothing less. This year, 2020, you will succeed. <laughs> if your mindset is on success, you will succeed. Some of us sometimes negative thoughts just fill your heart. Hey, am I going to get it? Hey, am I going to get the promotion? Hey, will they give me the contract? Hey, hey! Hey, Pomozo Ban said, he said on something, and nothing less. How many of us have read the morning manner this morning? Job chapter 22, verse 29. Say, so when there's a casting down, say, you'll be saying that's a lifting off. Amen. You be saying that's a lifting off. That's good. That's a casting down for you. You are saying, Lord, that's a lifting off for you. A purpose mind says a mind that is set on success and nothing less. Glory be to God. Are we together? And the last one on that. A purpose mindset is a mind that has the assurance of the backing of the word of God. A purpose mindset is a mind that had the assurance of the backing of the word of God. A purpose mindset is a mind that had the assurance of the backing of the word of God. That this thing I'm doing is being backed up by the word of God. 